Now, for the third year running, Channel News Asia's Luminary Awards has sought to recognize the best business minds in Asia, celebrating qualities like foresight and innovation, green business practices, and the spirit of enterprise. Each year, a leading industry leader is picked to receive the award's highest accolade, the Lifetime Achievement Award, for his or her role in inspiring others in the industry. And that honor this year has gone to property developer and entrepreneur Dr. Chiputra, the founder and chairman of Indonesia's Chiputra Group. And today he owns more than 30 companies in Indonesia and abroad. It is a success story, no doubt. And we welcome him to our studio this morning. Good morning, Dr. Chiputra. Thank you for joining us. Thank Once you. again, congratulations, yes, congratulations. Uh, to your Thank you. Lifetime Thank Achievement you. Award. Thank you. uh, extraordinary story, actually, we yes. heard last night. You, you have uh, succeeded in many areas. Uh, I mean, uh, you started the group 30 years ago. Now you have more than 30 companies all over the world. And we hear that your story is quite interesting. You, you were quite young. Your family, uh, you had a difficult family. Your, your father passed away. And then you uh, sort of lost some, the family business was lost as well. Were some of those experiences what made you decide to, you know, I'm going to do more, I'm going to do better, I'm going to start my own business? Yes, you are right. My accident or poverty is motivation for you to stand up uh -huh. and go. <laughs> right. So, so what were the first things um, you did? I mean, first of all, uh, you said, I vow never to be poor again. So therefore, mm -hmm. you, you had to make some plans in order to, to uh, realize your dreams. What did you do? The first thing I decided I must go to school. Mm. That time, uh, I'm not so serious about school. I said, I must go to school. I must become architect, mm. and I strive for that one. Mm -hmm. So I become architect. But before I finish, I said, architect, just looking for a job created by somebody else. Uh, right. so I like to become developer to create my own project. Right. Okay, so instead of being an architect, you decided it's better to be a the developer, the, developer, the <laughs> one who owns the whole project. And create the project. And create the project. <laughs> So is that, but, but that must have been difficult, or you must have been very brave. People say, you know, I, I don't dare start on my own. Maybe I need to work for yeah. other people first, get more experience. That's the seat of entrepreneurship. Mm. You must take risks. You have patience, you have the spirit, you have to work hard, you have confidence, and take risks. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, that is why entrepreneur is very important. Okay. Yeah, you were stressing that a lot last night. In fact, you compared Singapore and Indonesia, saying that you know, given the resources that we have, you know, uh, you know, hard work, uh, hard working qualities, <clears throat> there's nothing um, that Indonesia or, or, or uh, falls behind from Singapore. But yet, you know, our per income capita is yeah. much lower, right? Indonesia yeah, is much lower than Singapore. And entrepreneurship is the key factor. You said. Yes. What, what made you come yeah. to such a conclusion? How through experience, yeah. through experience with myself, with my company, and looking around, that that is because the failure of success people, you must integrity, professionalism, and entrepreneurship. Integrity, maybe we and Singapore are about the same. Mm -hmm. Professional is not so much difference, but entrepreneurship. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You are really entrepreneurs. You have 7% of entrepreneurs in Singapore. This is just less than 1%. Uh -huh. Right. There's a big difference. But being an entrepreneur is not an easy journey. And yeah. if you count of the many hundreds that start every year, there'll be many others that fail along the way also. So yeah, how, why is that good for the economy? Because, for example, Singapore has 7% entrepreneurs. Seven who create the new company, and create job, mm -hmm. while the professor is just looking to get job from the entrepreneur. Mm -hmm. That's difference. Right. Mm -hmm. This is why Indonesia, Indonesia is less presented mm -hmm. in the company than Singaporean. Mm -hmm. There's so many companies here because you are entrepreneur. So is I that see. why you've decided, I want to give back to society, and one way I want to do this is cultivate entrepreneurship uh, uh, minds and, and young people. You set up your own university, didn't you? Yes. Focusing on this one key element. Excuse me, what's more? Uh, you, you establish universities yes. so that you can cultivate entrepreneurial yes. minds. You are right. Actually, I have, formed, I have already formed two university with my partner but I like to prove that with the entrepreneur system 
the whole university will be successful. So we build the Chiputara University. Mm -hmm. And that's really, that's, uh, for example, we just, a new university, we just passed maybe more than 1,000. But already 50% of them, they have their own company where they are still at school, right. at university. Okay. And they create already more than 100,000 jobs, which wow. themselves is about 2,000. Mm -hmm. If they were go to the Jana University, they finish just looking for a job. Right. And that creates unemployment. Okay. So clearly your program is working and clearly your, your vision is slowly coming through. True. When, when you see results like that, you know, students in your schools, 50% uh, uh, of them setting up companies, hiring people, how do you feel? Oh, I really feel happy. <laughs> and to be friendly to you, I never again go to the entrepreneur university. But what is my university? Who is my university? Mm -hmm. is Singapore is my university. Oh, how, yes. how, how come? How, what, what have you, you learned from Singapore? Yes, I learned from Singapore, I learned from Japan. Mm -hmm. And who is my best professor? Is your senior mentor, minister, Mr. Lee Kuan Yew. Right. He's Ooh. my professor. <laughs> <laughs> I read his book, I heard his speech. Et cetera, et cetera. What but, is it that you learned from? What did you extract from it? What are the key lessons that you took? First, away? about the vision. Efficiency. Mm -hmm. Vision, strategies, mm -hmm. and excellent plan and implementation. Mm. Okay. Yes. It is very important. Yeah. This, the whole Singapore, I have a lot of friends and partners in Singapore. I learned from them. I right. partner in Japan or another country. I learned from them. Yeah. So in a way, you are a developer <coughs> again because you can plan and decide which needs to be created, what projects <laughs> need to be done. You are right. Yeah. But can entrepreneurship be taught? I mean, you teach it at the university, but as you mentioned, many of it you learn from life you experiences, right. right? You are right. Not everybody can become business entrepreneur. I consider to make about 30% of them. Mm. Nah, 30 percent. Singapore is 7 percent. It means from 30 percent, 7 percent Singaporean. Mm -hmm. In which less than one. Mm -hmm. There's still a lot of room that we can get more entrepreneur for Indonesia. Okay. Mm -hmm. That's why you are right. From 30 percent, you can teach them. Mm -hmm. Because that is life knowledge. Right. Can we teach them? So, what do you think differentiates an entrepreneur uh, from a successful one? Because not all who venture out on their own can succeed. What do you think is one key um, lesson that you've learned you would like to impart? That you said, you know, that, I mean, talent in the consists of three things. You have the patient. Patience. Patient. That mm -hmm. I like to become entrepreneur. Oh, I passion, like to be success yeah. in my life, in business, for example. Second, you have the spirit where well, you work hard to get to aim, to implement your vision. Third, so there's your confidence about yourself that I can do it. Mm -hmm. And later, of course, you must take risk. Right. Of course, not everybody learn entrepreneur, become entrepreneur, like all kind of field. Mm -hmm. But at least if you have that three things, that's what I call talent mm -hmm. right. and can be learned can be teach, can be trained. Oh. Okay, so the rest you can learn along the way, but you must have those three things yes, first. Yes, yes. You don't have the three things, hopeless. <laughs> <laughs> is, oh, yeah. that, is that your success story? Is that your secret to your success? Yes. You're and driven by passion? Yes, passion. I'm so passionate because when my father been or passed away and not normal man, matter, we really become poor. Mm -hmm. I have only small, very bad house, mm -hmm. our, uh, our property only consists right. of three cow. Yeah. <laughs> but wow, look at you today. And chicken. I think okay. your story is one that we can definitely, you know, take away a lot of lessons from and learn from you. Thank, Thank you. you so much, Dr. Thank Chiputra, you so much. for coming. Congratulations again. Dr. Chiputra, the founder and chairman of Indonesia's Chiputra Group and recipient of Chow News Asia's Lifetime Achievement Luminary Award. All the awards were held yesterday evening and saw three other recipients walk away with the awards in the areas of future business, innovation and green practices as well.